just love the idea that you have this raw material and then you can turn it into something not only beautiful, but useful. My name is Sarah Pratt and I run Pratt and Hebert with my husband, Kurt. I make ceramics and he makes furniture. Often I think when people think of pottery, they think like chunkier work, maybe a little bit heavier, a little bit more rustic. Um, and my work is very smooth and clean and, and precise. And I think that's very surprising to people, especially when they find out that it's wheel thrown. My uh, degree is in political science, so I was working for a company based out of DC. I quit my job because I knew I wanted to do something more creative. I took a pottery class. Actually, it was my mom who suggested that I take the pottery class because she was taking one down in Louisiana and she said, this is really fun, you should do it. And I said, well, it would be nice to explore other mediums even if I don't really like it that much. So it was a Hudson Valley Community College course that I took and it was really great. It was very comprehensive. And then I just decided I wanted to learn everything I could about um, ceramics and started working at the Art Center of the Capital Region and just learning everything I could and eventually was uh, the studio manager there for a little while and started teaching there and so now I teach there as well. And Curtis has also done some teaching. This is a piece of white oak. Um, I got it from some friends in Bern who have a sawmill. And this is a piece that really wasn't good enough to saw. So, but it's good for me to, to turn a bowl. We went to LSU together and started dating my senior year of college, and he's always made furniture. I started woodworking, uh, I was about 13 years old, and uh, it's kind of just all I wanted to do, was make things. And also, there's just the necessity, you, you need stuff, and I hate buying stuff and I'm frustrated a lot of times with either the things I can afford or the things that are available, so it's a good solution for me. Well, Sarah, my wife, uh, she's next door in the pottery studio. Um, she's got superb tastes. He's <laughs> very creative. The eye for beauty. Really brilliant. She's got the clear thinking. I mean, he's kind of a genius. He still has another job as an engineer. I design large generators for power plants. Um, been doing that for about 11 years now. I am just addicted to tools and machines, and I'm always on the hunt. Well, this planer is an Oliver from 1926, and it's got a GE motor on it. It was built right here in Schenectady in 1925, probably, I guess. And um, this planer was owned by the city of Schenectady. So they auctioned it off and I got it. My dream was kind of to buy the Superdome and just fill it up with machines and be able to wake up every day and just, just build whatever I want and have unlimited capabilities. We finally have this studio almost done. So this is brand new and it's not even completely done, but after we get this done, then we can really do more furniture production work, um, more collaborative work. 
and just bigger things. People in this community want to support local makers and want to buy things from us and know how important it is to support artists. And they really value that here. And that's extremely touching and, and makes me feel very, very fortunate. <laughs>